thousands of Nova Scotians are in need of affordable housing. And often when they find it, the properties can be less than ideal. Why not go back to the drawing board on affordable housing? Two years ago, Ron Lovett founded Vita Living. Originally expecting difficulty with tenants, he says one day he decided to do things differently, hoping for different results. Piloted different things. We put in a high-end security system, cameras throughout. We retained two different tenants, one to clean the inside and the outside of the building. Um, and already you could feel the energy change. You, you know, people were now all of a sudden invested in the asset. All of a sudden, we were creating this micro-economy. And it was right then, right there, that I knew, you know, we're on to something. Lovett points to what he calls building ambassadors as a key to their success. Tenants who help run the building, giving them ownership and in turn a sense of pride in where they live. We crowdsource a lot of our uh, challenges. We have donations for gym gear. We had a tenant donate a bookshelf. We put it in an area that was just uh, in a stairwell in one of the buildings. And we had all tenants donate books and that was our library. It was actually that simple. He credits their different approach for the growth they've seen in a short period of time and expects it'll help them continue it in the future. We have just under 350 units in the HRM. Our plan is to grow to 1,000 in 24 months and then 10,000 in seven years. So we really want to focus on this space, own it, um, and continue to innovate. Jeremy Keefe, Global News, Halifax.